Hi there, my name is David Hillier and I'm going to give you a very brief video introducing my new series which is related to efficient capital markets and behavioural finance. So to get straight into the types of things that I'll be talking about, first of all uh, I'm going to ask about financing. Now in mainstream corporate finance we focus on three pillars and the first pillar is investment. And we say in any investment analysis, well, focus on the actual project itself. Forget about the financing because the financing has no impact on whether a project is a good idea or not. Financing is where you get the money to fund that project. Well, in the next video, I'm going to be asking this question, well, is that actually correct? Can financing decisions create value? Or can they destroy value? So in reality, does financing actually impact upon the value of your investment? Now we move on from there and we then start talking about efficient capital markets and, and what it means to be an efficient capital market. And we focus on three um, types of market efficiency, the weak form, semi-strong form and the strong form. And we spend the whole video just looking at the different types of market efficiency. Within the next video we'll be looking at the, the evidence, the, the empirical research into market efficiency and we'll be asking the question well, what does the research tell us about market efficiency? Is the market weak form? Is it semi-strong form? Is it strong form? Or is it not efficient at all? Moving on from efficient markets, we introduce a new area, and it's a very vibrant area of finance and a, a, very, um, a very strong and growing area, and that's behavioural finance. So I'll explain what is meant by behavioural finance. And then we'll look at evidence uh, into whether markets are rational or irrational. That's where the term behavioural comes from because it's your behaviours that impact upon market dynamics rather than the market structure or the market dynamics themselves leading to uh, good efficiency or good pricing. We'll then try and bring behavioural finance and efficient capital markets together and we'll look at how they can exist together. Can they exist together? Can you have rational markets at the same time as being efficient? And uh, we'll then take all of that together and look at it for, from the perspective of corporate finance and we'll look to, to see whether as a manager you can take advantage of efficient capital markets and if you can take advantage of behavioural financial insights into investor behaviour. Okay, so just a very quick and speedy overview of my new uh, video series and uh, thank you for listening.